Hello, I'm Nakia and I'm with Divine Elements of Design and the Decorator's Voice. Today I'm going to give you a tour of my Paristine nursery for my daughter. I am 39 weeks pregnant and I've been meaning to do this tour for a while and now, you know, time is ticking away and I need to get this tour completed and upload it to YouTube so you can all see all the work that I've done. Now, I must admit, I am my own worst client <laughs> being a decorator and having um, a much awaited for a much wanted daughter is something I've dreamed of. So I really took advantage of all of my knowledge and my trade discounts and my skills just to work on her nursery. Now, the room that we are using for her nursery is actually or was actually my guest bedroom. And I did do a video on that probably about a year ago. So I will link that below just in case you wanted to see the before. So it was a, a Paris ladies theme, but now for her, she has like the ooh la la baby Paris theme. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and jump into her nursery and take a look at everything. Okay, we're gonna enter her nursery right now. Now when you first come in, you'll see she has this little plaque on the wall and it just says, ooh la la, and I really like that. It came with, with the color and the scheme of the room. I also bought these um, plate covers off of Etsy and I will link that store below, but they had the cutest, adorable plate covers. Now this one actually is a, um, has a dimmer to it. So at night, you know, I can dim her lights and I thought that was really, really neat. So we'll just go ahead and get started with what you see right when you come into the room. We have her dresser and I really like this dresser because this is something that she can transition to and I uh, apologize for the crown, the, the black crown on the right is a little crooked. <laughs> well, actually it's a lot crooked, but anyway. I just have to fix that but I love the dresser and the uh, mirror it's you can't tell but it's actually a little bit shorter and smaller than the regular size so but this is definitely something that she can use when she gets older um, these are just some jellies and jams that I received from the baby shower some of her lotions this was an honest baby gift set that I received a wipe warmer. I've never used a wipe warmer before so I'm really looking forward to that. This is her changing table and it goes with the theme of the room, the Paris themed ooh la la. And I'm gonna go ahead and open up the drawers because I know I love watching videos and seeing what people have in their, in their drawers. So in here she has some of her wipes. She has a lot so we just have you know three packs or actually five packs right here and these are the little diaper disposable bags that we're going to keep in her bag when we're going places the first draw are pampers and most of those are actually size one because this is where we will be changing her here are some other you know jellies and jams these are those little um, take a long pack. So I have a couple of these. I'm going to actually put these in her bag. So her bag is packed, but it's packed for the hospital. It's not packed for just regular. Let's see. Right here, we have all of her towels. Now, I am going to wash her towels, but for the video, I just haven't washed them yet. So I'm going to wash all her towels and her face cloth. So that's what she has in this drawer. And the bottom one are some blankets. And then those little contour pillows so I guess when she's on the airplane or she's in her car seat her head goes stay straight over here we have receiving blankets and burp cloths so I have a lot of those and these are her extra crib sheets and then also cradle sheets. Now she actually has a cradle that's in my room. So that's where she'll be the first three months or so. Okay, so I'll just take a step back so you can see everything again. And then you can also see me in the mirror with my big belly. It's there. <laughs> 
Okay, now I wanted a rocking chair or a glider that I can use after I have the baby. So when it did look like it was for a baby. So this is the one I selected. I think I got this from Wayfair, but I don't know. I'll put the link in the video below. Okay, so we have her dresser and her Paristeam lamp. And I'll step back so you can see her full bed. Now, on the bed, she does have bumpers, but those will be removed. Those are just here for the, the picture. But I love um, the crib that we selected. This crib transforms into a toddler bed and then also a queen size bed. So her, you know, she has her furniture. I love this picture. This was a prayer picture. And when I first saw it, I fell in love with it because I wasn't looking for it. I just went to, um, it was Hobby Lobby or something. And I saw it. I'm like, oh my God, that's beautiful. And these plaques are actually custom. I got them from... Etsy. So she has a chandelier. Her name is Kelsey. There's a Paris and then there's a Paris poodle. Okay, so over here she has a basket and then actually there's a picture of my little angel right there. We did the 3D ultrasound and she's puckering her lips like she's trying to kiss. <laughs> so I thought that was really cute. Those are some of her little toiletries that came in the bag. Now, of course, once she starts to use like things like the toothbrush and all that, we're not going to keep it in her room. Now, this book right here is so interesting. I found this online. And I'm going to try to link this below also as well. But this is a custom book that you can buy. You tell them, like, you describe the person that you're buying this book for. And it's custom, so it says Dear Kelsey in it. And then you tell them, you know, what you think the baby looks like and... <laughs> so I have a little African American girl with a hair and a ponytail so basically Kelsey wakes up in the middle of the night or one morning and she cannot find her name so she's wondering what is her name so throughout the book she goes on a journey and she meets different people and um, for example the first person she meets is a knight which begins with a K and um, then she goes on and on and there's an elephant which is an E and just kind of skipping some pages and then there is a lion and which is an L and then when you get to the end of the book uh, okay and get to the end of the book all those characters that she met spells her name which is Kelsey so I thought this was really really neat I love personalized things and with my name being Nakia it was really hard to find things so now with Kelsey I thought that was just wonderful now this mannequin it's not gonna stay here <laughs> I love it it's really pretty but it's not gonna stay in her room so once she's actually walking around and crawling we'll move it but it was in this room when it was an adult guest room so we move over to the side and then we also have her curtains and then there's a mirror on that wall and then this is a little Flag. I forgot where I got this from but it says it's not easy being a princess but if the crown fits so you know we all joke about the baby we call her princess Kelsey that's her nickname right now now she does have a TV and a blu-ray player but uh, in my defense this room was already a room before it was a guest room which had a TV and a blu-ray player so it just stayed in the room so I will definitely have her um, Watching YouTube, <laughs> watching her mom on YouTube. Okay, so we come over here. Let's see. Oh, I don't really have anything in this drawer. I think just one little pajama set. Then over here, we have some gowns. So all of these are matching gowns, and they have the little hats. And it's so funny because my mom and my sister both bought the same thing. <laughs> so she has like two complete sets of the same thing, and they're all the same size. And um, this drawer is just, this is pretty much for her underwear. So we have her onesies, just things that are plain onesies. And I think these are just so cute. They're so tiny. If you can look at them, how big they are compared to my hand. So I can't believe this little girl is going to be that small. Okay. And here we have some bigger clothes, some bigger onesies. 
and t-shirts and I actually put this in my gift registry and I was happy you were surprised that someone bought it these are training pants I know they were like training pants she's a baby she doesn't need training pants yet but you know hey they grow into that and then below oh, have to bend down those are um, some other items I think there's a couple halo slacks and bibs and blankets so I didn't have a place for those so now we come over and then we have her armoire and I really like so above it is uh, there's a K there's a little burgundy her, her first coach purse she already has her own coach purse and then a little makeup bag and then that little dog I think it came from a movie but I had it before in my other room so this is what her armoire looks like it is two drawers and then it has the mirror the glass mirror so I'm gonna open it up so you can see what's inside of it so her first shelf we have her lotions and goodies and for some reason I got a lot of like the desitin type, type stuff at my baby shower <laughs> so I'm like okay I guess I'm baby's gonna have a lot of diaper rashes I don't know so this section are some other things I really didn't know where to put these things um, teething ring things and I think you're supposed to put baby food in here and they're supposed to suck it or something I don't know Oh, this is new to me. My last baby's 10 years old, so that's a while ago. And that's a carrier that I got from the baby shower, so I can't wait to have that. Let's see what's down here. Oh, these are some gift bags. They're so funny because they actually go with the room, and I was going to do a little DIY project with it, but I just didn't get a chance to. I bought all these gift bags, and they're Paris themed at Ross for like $3.99 for a pack of three. They were really, really great. And then the bottom one is just, I think, the other bumper pad. Okay, so we are done with her armoire. Now we have her closet. That's one of her baby bags. It's not the main one, but that's one of them that we're going to use. Now, one of the things I did want to do before she came was change out the doorknobs and get rid of this brass and put a bling, but I, I just didn't get a chance to. Let me turn the light on in her closet. And if it's too much, I'll turn it off. But this is Princess Kelsey's closet. I'll take a step back. Okay, I think I might turn the light off. Um, okay. So she actually it has inherited my Barbie doll collection. And my mother started collecting Barbie dolls for me when I was about 25 or something. So now Kelsey has a lot of collectible Barbie dolls. And these are her clothes. Now they are actually by size from newborn all the way to 12 months or 24 months. So she, it looks like she has a lot of clothes, but well, yeah, she does have a lot of clothes. <laughs> okay, on the bottom in that black box, are books like all of the little little golden books and things like that and then in this section over here this is like a little bow case set that I found somewhere I thought it was so adorable these are all of her newborn socks now I have to admit we did go overboard on the socks she has 35 socks now one thing that my uh, 10 year old told me to do so the sock monster won't eat the socks or just put one sock inside of the other and that way you can see what the socks are so they're not they can't get lost so yeah she has a lot of socks I don't think she's gonna go through all of these socks cuz I mean they're it's a lot of them okay then we have a basket now these are little beanie hats and then also her mittens the next one these are her bows so she has a lot of bows I have seen like some people have a little glass thing that they keep their bows in but I haven't found that so we're just putting the bows in there and this is oh these are bibs and I'm gonna move this to the side a little bit so you can see she has all of her coats and jackets and then also she has tons of pampers and wipes in the bottom so we are pretty much set. When she gets a little older, she wants a jewelry box. I have a one of my old fashioned wood jewelry boxes there. And that's the chandelier that we put in this closet because I want her to have a I want her to have a chandelier. And this chandelier was actually in the room, 
but I didn't want that chandelier in the room. I wanted another chandelier. So I'll show you the chandelier that I actually had my electrician install for her. So that's the one that I wanted. So I really love that one with all the bling. And I think that's just about it. Let me go around so you can see this wall by the door to go out. And that sign says, be yourself, everyone else is taken. Now this clock, I actually got it from Etsy and it was supposed to say her name on it. But once I received it, I thought I'll just keep it because I did like the ooh la la. Well, this is Princess Kelsey's room. I really enjoyed decorating it. Like I said before, you know, I've always wanted a daughter and now I have one so I can spoil her and just do everything I want. Uh, dress her up and all that stuff. So she has a lot of clothes <laughs> and she actually has the Instagram page right now. So if you are interested in how I dress her because probably she's gonna be dressed twice a day because we need to wear all those clothes before she outgrows them. So if you are on Instagram and you're interested in following, her handle is at Princess Kelsey Wear. And I forgot to show you inside of her crib. This was a homemade blanket that my mom made for her. So we are so in love with this. Now once again, all the things that are in here are not gonna be here. You know, we just have this stuff here for the shower and for the YouTube video. This was some little blanket, I don't know what they're called, but I put it on the registry because someone said it was a good idea. <laughs> and this is her mobile, her mobile, and I love it because it has like a little shoe and a purse and everything. This is another blanket that, a receiving blanket that someone made and personalized it with her name. And I think the only other thing I did not show you was her rug. And it's a beautiful shag rug and it's so soft. So when we come in here, you know, I take my feet off and it's just so comfortable. But anyway, so thank you very much for sticking to the end of this video. I know it may have been a little long, but thank you so much. And also, I'm going to do a what's in my hospital bag video, which I will probably post a week after this one posts. So if you're kind of curious about how we packed and how we decided what we wanted to take in the hospital bag, check out that video. And also, check out our other videos and our other social media. I'm at Divine Elements of Design. That's my decorating business. And for you do, do it yourselfers, I have a lot of information on my blog, which is The Decorator's Voice. So that's why I give you step-by-step -step information about what I do. And then also, I'm gonna put a link to all of the things I purchased in here. So if you wanted to make a princess Harris theme room for your child or someone you know, you have all the information. All right, well, thank you very much, and you have a divine day. Goodbye.